What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you 50 hidden features in iOS 9. Apple showcased a lot of the larger stuff, well there's actually a lot that's going on that you don't know about in iOS 9. And in this video I'm going to be showing you 50 of the hidden and secret features in iOS 9. And a lot of these do help enhance iOS 9, we just aren't aware of them. I want to make sure you guys know everything there is to know about iOS 9. Now to begin, the default passcode on iOS 9 is a 6 digit pin. You can set it to 4 if you wish and of course a password as well. Now this taken straight from the Apple Watch is a shortcut on the lock screen. Double tap the home button on the lock screen to bring up your Apple Pay settings for quick payment. No need to get in into the app and open it. You know, just do that real quick and boom, there you go. Now thanks to new settings you can swap the function of the side switch on your device to either lock rotation or mute. So very similar taken straight from the iPads. You can actually lock rotation by using that instead of muting. Now when you first open Open up your device on iOS 9, you'll notice that it looks a little bit different. That's because Apple finally added that new font called San Francisco, and they made no mention of it in the keynote whatsoever. Now this proves true for every aspect of the device, from the keyboard to the home screen. The font has changed, and it definitely looks fresh. From the home screen, you have two options for search. You can slide down for Spotlight, or slide over for that new Proactivity Settings, and Siri, you'll get all the suggestions based on your apps and your current usage. Also here, if you'll notice, these are the new contacts. They have been removed from the multitasking pane. So when you actually get into this card view, which by the way, is a new view on its own, you will no longer have any contacts up here, which is unfortunate because they were convenient. You can access them from any area, but now they are over here in the proactivity Siri view. If you look carefully on iOS 9, all of the windows and alerts, whenever they appear, they have a more rounded look to them, which fits in well with the operating system. Now, as if we didn't have enough apps, we couldn't remove apps. Apple decided to add a couple more. Find my friends and find my iPhone now come pre-installed and are unremovable. And another thing about the find my friends application, it's available as a notification view up here. As a widget, you can actually find friends, have their location right there if you really need it. If you actually look on the home screen, you'll notice there is no more newsstand. Well, that's good news because nobody used it anyways, but it will be replaced in the future with the new news application. Now, this is probably one of the best subtle features features in iOS 9 that Apple did not mention. So say you're inside of any application, you're doing your own thing and you get a text message with a link. Well, when you click on it and this applies to everywhere on your device, you do your thing, you look at the article and then you want to go back. Instead of having to go into the multitasking pane, opening it up and then going in the application, you can click over here on back to search and boom, you were right back to where you were at. And this applies to any area of the iOS. So you guys know those photos inside of the messaging applications, the contact photos. Well, now they're included on the iPhone 6, so update to iOS 9 and you'll get this awesome exclusive 6 plus feature on your iPhone 6. With the ever expanding settings app, all the new settings, it's great to have a search function which Apple has so graciously added in this latest version. iOS 9 allows you to group notifications by either recent, you can do it manually, and you can clump them all together by app as well. So a lot of organization to your notification menu. Now when searching within Spotlight Search, if you're actually searching for a contact, you can message them or call them directly from the search without having to go into the contact and then doing that. Now there are quite a bit of keyboard enhancements in iOS 9. For one, that very simple tweak where you can just click on the shift key and all the characters are now in capital, but if you unclick it, then they're all in lowercase. Now the great thing is if you don't like this lowercase, uppercase thing, you can easily disable it by going into settings, general, accessibility, and in here just disable show lowercase keys and that will keep it all capital. Now by default on iOS 9 when you're typing, you don't get a keyboard pop-up preview. If you miss that from iOS 8, you can easily enable it by going into settings, general, and then scrolling down to keyboard. And then in here, one of the settings you're going to want to enable is show character preview. Now, when you go ahead and type on your keyboard, you'll get that preview from iOS 8. Now, Apple didn't make this public at their keynote, but you know that new quick type keyboard that they demoed on the iPad? Well, it's available on your iPhone. Now, it's not available on the 4S, but all other devices just use two fingers and you can scroll easily through your text just like this. Select it, cut, copy, paste, pretty much everything a lot simpler. And you can go all over the screen. It's not just limited 
to the keyboard. A lot of people don't know that. You can use your entire screen for space. Also in accessibility, you can disable shake to undo. So if you never need that and it bothers you, you can undo that here and vibration. If you cannot stand it, you can completely disable all vibrations on your phone. Now talking about vibration, when enabling Siri in iOS 9, you'll now get a vibration that wasn't present in iOS 8. Now talking about Siri, I know we're all familiar with a new look, but when you're actually not using Siri, it has this beautiful icon down here. Man, it just looks so great. I can't help but appreciate these little details in iOS 9. Siri has also received some under the cover upgrades. So if you actually go into accessibility and speech in here, you can actually select speak selection, voices, and there are some new voices for Siri in here, which you can download. So if I go into English, and over here, as you can see, there are several new voices you can download for iOS 9. Now let's say you don't use Siri, you disable it. And VoiceOver now has a new look and new sound. So it has this really cool animation down here. I know nobody will use this, but it has been upgraded in iOS 9 and it sounds like Siri now. It's received a lot of upgrades sound-wise from Siri. Now, if you pair an Apple Watch with iOS 9, by the way, the Apple Watch does not have to be running OS 2, and you slide down in the notification view, you get a new widget here, which will tell you the battery life of your watch. It would be nice to have this up here, like if you ever connected a Bluetooth speaker, it'll tell you the battery life up here. But overall, it's nice to have, especially when your watch is in another room charging and you can see the progress here. A really cool feature in photos that not many people know about, and it's awesome, is the quick select feature. So if you actually click the select button previously, you'd have to go and select every single one. Well now, just hold on one and go ahead and drag on all of them, and boom, you can easily select multiple photos. I mean, so much faster than individually. Now also in photos, when you select one, you now have this really cool scrubber down here, so easily get through all of your photos just by scrubbing like this. Now a lot of people that are updating to iOS 9, you're keeping your previous settings, so you may not not know about this but there is a new wallpaper inside of iOS 9 and it's the really cool colorful wave so all you guys have to do is you know go into your wallpapers and select it now there is a new little menu here no new features but it's just set up differently the perspective view and this new wallpaper is really awesome looks great so there have been some updates to the mail application as well so now when you want to edit you can actually archive all or trash all or move all not just select all so a little update right there also whenever you're creating a message you you can finally include attachments. So just hold and go over here and you can add an attachment. So let's talk about the battery. There are some new settings for this as well. So if you actually go into the battery settings, a lot of stuff has been relocated to here. Obviously we have low power mode, the battery percentage has been moved here, but you can actually get a more detailed overview for a certain amount of time in your battery usage settings. And over here you can just get overall. So pretty cool that they added this summary. Now something you may not know about, about iOS 9 that I can't really show you is when you actually enable low power mode, a feature that it activates is when your device is face down it activates the proximity sensor. So it will not light up the screen. If you get a notification, it'll stay dark because it can sense that it's pointless. You won't be able to see it anyways. That's a really nice addition. Now there are some welcome additions to the note application as well. Obviously there is all that cool stuff with the drawing, you know, the organization, the paragraphing, stuff like that. But beyond that, you can create folders inside of your notes application now. Not only that, there's a new recently deleted folder right here. So if you delete them, you want to recover them, they can be found there. Now a feature that we've been asking Apple for a while. Pretty big one that they finally decided to add is if you go into the actual photos and camera settings, you can change the resolution of your video. So go down here, you can change from 1080p, 720p to 60 frames per second at 1080, as well as slow motion video from 240 to 120 frames per second. Now, something that's not very convenient, but I appreciate is when you're actually in the card view, you can slide up to four applications at once. So this is what it's going to look like right here. You can grab up to four cards and slide them out of the way at one time. Now the health application has received some updates as well. For one, you now have a landscape view. There you go, which previously wasn't available as well as a ton of new settings. So you can go into all and you now have measurements for uh, reproductive health, water intake. There's a ton more in here if you're interested in that. So I don't know how many of you guys have problems with this, but you know Safari redirects that would open up the app store whenever you're on any sort of shady site in Safari, it even happens randomly. Well, 
that's finally been fixed in iOS 9. Another new feature in iOS 9 is the relocation of the request desktop site. So if you're ever on a mobile version, you want the desktop version, it's been relocated to the share settings. So you slide over and finally it's over here, request desktop site. Now in settings for Safari, there are a number of new features in here. For one, if you guys actually scroll down and go into passwords, it will ask you for touch ID now. Previously, it was just the passcode. Another one is content blockers. So that means ad blockers could be coming in the future to iOS 9. There's nothing here yet, but that is promising. Also, you can disable frequently visited sites. So when you open up a blank Safari page, you know all the previews you get, you can disable that using this guy right here. iOS 9 brings back the buffering bar. Finally, you can see how much progress your video has made in terms of rendering. So it's now accurate and updated in iOS 9. When uploading photos from Safari, you now have an option to do so from the iCloud Drive. So instead of just taking a photo or selecting one, you can open one from iCloud Drive. And talking about iCloud, there's a new secret app that you can enable. So if you go into your iCloud settings, make sure iCloud Drive is set up and enabled. And in here, you can select show on home screen, which is disabled by default. Now on your home screen, you will have this new app, which acts as a file browser pretty much for all of your apps. When you download stuff on the internet from Safari, you can have an option to have it all show up here and you can explore all of your files. I have nothing here, but it's like a first step in the right direction for a file browser on iOS 9. And some last few ones, uh, these are very minor, but in podcasts, there's a new category for unplayed in here. In the general settings, Apple has again reintroduced wireless CarPlay. They previously removed it in 8.4, the latest beta, and now it's back in iOS 9. Not really a secret by any means, but this is probably one of my favorite smaller features about iOS 9 is suggestions based on your location. So anything from activities to food to running health activities, there's a lot in here and you know, you can get pretty detailed, but it all revolves around where you're at right now, you know, the current locations. And it's nice to know such a small detail has been added. Lastly, Apple has fixed the effective power bug, something that I don't think they're too proud of. So they didn't mention it, but it has been fixed in this latest iOS 9 version as well as 8.4. But it's nice to know that your friends can't crash your device anymore. How annoying was that? So guys, there you go. That's the top 50 hidden features and secrets in iOS 9. I'm sure there will be more. If I find more, I will make another video, but this is everything I could find so far. And there's quite a bit that Apple has added that they haven't made known. And with this video, hopefully you learned a good thing or two about iOS 9. You know, when it does drop, it'll be a fantastic firmware. I'm going to be showing you today also the speed comparison between iOS 8 and iOS 9. So far, it's not looking so great. And uh, stay tuned for that, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Enjoy iOS 9 if you have it right now. Peace.